Chase Sexton's night at the Super Motocross World Championship Finals in Las Vegas came to a heartbreaking end after sustaining a serious hand injury during the first moto. As the race kicked off, Sexton found himself struggling to maintain a competitive start, placing him in a precarious position within the pack. Things took a turn for the worse when, exiting the first rhythm lane, he collided with Justin Barcia, who landed directly on him. This unfortunate incident resulted in an injury severe enough to sideline Sexton for the rest of the night. Despite trying to ride through the pain, it was clear that he couldn't continue, leading his team manager Ian Harrison to confirm that Sexton would not return for Moto2. The injury has raised significant concerns regarding his participation in upcoming events, particularly the highly anticipated Motocross of Nations, MXON. Reports from those on the scene indicate fears that Sexton may have suffered a broken hand, a complication that would seriously hinder his recovery process and delay his return to competitive racing. The timing of this injury is particularly concerning given the proximity of MXON, a prestigious event in which Team USA's participation is now in jeopardy. Sexton was a key component of the team, and with Eli Tomac also recovering from injury, Team USA's future at the event looks uncertain. Justin Barcia, a seasoned and well-known figure in the world of motocross and supercross, addressed the incident after the race, shedding light on what transpired. Barcia's explanation revealed the intricate and often chaotic dynamics of high-level motocross. He explained the collision in detail, stating that both he and Sexton were running different lines, which led to the impact. Our lines were opposite. He went to shoot the inside, I was in the air, and I landed on top of him. Barcia's account illustrates just how unpredictable motocross racing can be, with riders making split-second decisions and adjustments mid-air, often leading to unavoidable accidents. Barcia emphasized that the collision was purely a racing incident, devoid of malicious intent. He backed up his claim by referencing the opinions of some of the sport's most respected figures, including Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart, and Jason Thomas, all of whom agreed that it was an unfortunate but unavoidable moment in the race. If you watch it, you know there's nothing I could have done, Barcia explained, underscoring his frustration with the incident. His emotional response, marked by expressions of regret like bummer and a shame, reflected the weight of the situation, not only for himself but for Sexton as well. Love the kid, Barcia added, highlighting the mutual respect between the two riders despite their competitive rivalry. Barcia's acknowledgement of Sexton as a strong, strong, Strong son of a gun further underscores the intensity of the collision, with the repetition of strong emphasizing Sexton's resilience and toughness. The incident left a visible mark on Barcia, who admitted, It's just a shame that it had to be me and Chase. Despite the setback, Barcia expressed relief that his performance in Vegas was an improvement from previous rounds, saying, Vegas, not where we wanted to be, but I'm glad we were better than the week before. This statement offers insight into Barcia's mindset, showing that while he didn't achieve his desired result, progress was still made. Barcia's reflections didn't just stop with the events in Vegas, though. He briefly touched on his future, announcing plans to train at Baker's Factory in 2025. This decision is a significant one, as Baker's Factory is renowned for producing top-tier motocross athletes under the guidance of Alden Baker one of the most respected trainers in the sport. This move signals Barcia's ongoing commitment to refining his skills and remaining a competitive force in the sport for the foreseeable future. In conclusion, Barcia's comments offer a candid glimpse into the life of a professional motocross rider, illustrating the physical risks, emotional highs and lows, and fierce competition that define the sport. His honest reflections on the collision with Sexton, combined with his determination to keep improving, Paint a picture of a seasoned athlete navigating both the challenges and triumphs that come with the territory. As the sport moves forward, riders like Barcia and Sexton will continue to shape the narrative, both through their on-track performances and their responses to moments like these.